There is a proverbial truth which says, the love of money is the root of all evil. The evil is not in the material wealth itself, because the earth and the fullness thereof belong to Jehovah, and in him there is no evil. The evil lies in man's unsatisfied desire to acquire great earthly riches, and his love therefore leads him into all manner of evil ways. Selfish men, greedy for material gain, acquire such riches at the cost of great suffering to others, and ultimately the man loses everything. It is written in the Psalms, this man made not God his strength, but trusted in the abundance of his riches and strengthened himself in his wickedness. Furthermore, in the Proverbs, he that trusteth in riches shall fall. The day of adversity comes, and the material wealth of that man takes wings and flies away. Such riches are not durable. True riches are the heritage of the man who gains the knowledge of God's word and who then does the will of the Almighty, and who is diligent to obey his commandments and he receives great blessings from the Most High, and the heart of that man is filled with joy. It is written in Proverbs 10, the blessings of the Lord. They maketh rich, and he addeth no sorrow with them. Therefore, to those who seek the right way, Jesus said, Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven. You do not have to go to heaven in order to lay up heavenly treasures. God is in heaven, and in him is all riches, and he provides for those who love and serve him, and the riches which he provides endure forever. Do you love what is right, and do you desire to enjoy life and all the blessings incident thereto? If so, then you must get a knowledge of God's provision for you. That will require some effort on your part, but everything that's worthwhile is obtained only by putting forth some effort. A book called Riches is published by the Watchtower Society. You should possess and carefully read and study such book because it points out exactly where and the manner of obtaining durable riches. God's Word, the Bible, is a treasure house of truth, but you must know how to find the truths therein and how to apply the facts. The book Riches enables you to do that very thing. There you will find conclusive proof showing why there's so much poverty and distress in the earth why God has permitted it, and the provision he has made to clear out all wickedness, relieve mankind from all suffering, and permit all who will obey him the favor of enjoying boundless riches. Men who practice religion for gain have greatly defamed God's name and have driven honest persons away from God and his word. The time is now here for God to vindicate his name by showing men that he is altogether righteous and the true friend and blesser of all who sincerely know and do his will. The scriptures are like a lamp to one in a dark pathway, by the light of which that man is guided in the right way and safe. The book Riches enables you to keep that lamp always before you, that you may know exactly what to do in order to gain boundless blessings from Almighty God. As you study it together with your Bible, you will have an inward joy and will grow in love for the Most High and for his King Christ Jesus. Satan has ever been the enemy of God and man. Long ago, Satan organized religion, and he uses that to deceive men. The book Riches definitely identifies and locates the organizations that are used to defraud and do injury to the people. By his prophet Jehovah foretold such organizations, and now the time has come for all who desire to have a knowledge and understanding thereof to get it. The apostle Paul was once a religionist. Because of his sincere desire to do right, the Lord gave him the truth. After having learned God's gracious provision to make the honest and seer ones rich, Paul wrote these words, All oh, the depth of the riches, both of the wisdom and knowledge of God. The more fully you understand God's provision for man, the more you will appreciate the words of the apostle, and you will see and appreciate that the riches which God grants to those who love and serve him are boundless, and that they will endure forever. Study the book Riches and Rejoice.